of change and an incredible force of nature. That's how some people described the late Vivian Carmody. She was hit by a car over the weekend while walking to dinner with her husband, Dan Carmody, and the CEO of Eastern Market. He was also injured in that crash. Ray Strickland spoke with the mayor of Berkeley, who says that the city wouldn't be what it is today if it wasn't for Vivian. He joins us from Coolidge Highway, Neuromont, in Berkeley. The sudden passing of Vivian Carmody has left the entire business community here in Berkeley stunned. Vivian formerly worked as the executive director of the city's downtown development authority. And in that time frame, many of these business owners grew to know her well, describing her as fierce, innovative, and a champion of development and someone they directly credit for the growth of downtown Berkeley. Complete heartbreak and what a great loss. Katie Kutcher is mourning the loss of her friend Vivian Carmody, a woman she calls an inspiration and one of the main reasons she bought a building on Coolidge Highway in Berkeley. She is somebody I looked up to, somebody who, who had vision and uh, could see a city and know what it needed. Kutcher credits Carmody for helping get her business and many others off the ground when she first became the executive director of the city's downtown development authority in 2017. She was such a huge key component for this city, Eastern Market, wherever she was, Franklin. Carmody has been described as fierce, innovative, and a champion for development. Kutcher says she was the one who spearheaded implementing a road diet to Coolidge Highway, and she also embraced outdoor dining. Her passion, her grit, and determination to grow Berkeley's downtown will forever be a part of her legacy. In five years, the development that she implemented a couple years ago is paying off, and um, businesses, the community, government, anybody who's part of Berkeley has a lot to thank her for. Carmody was killed in a crash around 5.30 p.m. on Friday on St. Aubin and East Lafayette in Detroit. Her husband, Dan Carmody, was also injured and remains in the hospital. A male driver in his 20s was taken into custody in connection to the crash. Total shock. I mean, you just don't think about things like this happening. Mayor of Berkeley, Bridget Dean, met Carmody a few years back during her time as a business owner. She also credits Carmody's work as the executive director of the DDA for the city's thriving downtown. Had she not been in Berkeley during the time that she was, our downtown would not look like it looks today. Dean says Carmody was also an inspiration and a role model for her. Someone, she says, will truly be missed. Family was so important to her. She always talked about their daughters, grandchildren, her love of horses, the lo her, how she loved her dogs. Um, she was so vibrant and full of life. Reporting in Berkeley, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Detroit.